go ahead and get started and let me just find my own face and make it bigger because I'm going to show you guys my phone in a second. And all right. Welcome to Instagram. Okay. And I'm going to try and not jump around because I do that a lot. Um, because so many of the th same things apply to Facebook, but we're just going to focus a hundred percent on Instagram. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and start with, um, do's. Okay. This is going to be big, but the don'ts are almost just as important. Okay. So first of all, um, if you guys want to grow locally, I find that I find more followings like people following me back if I try to grow locally. I never did this before, um, but it's a great way, especially if you're starting to grow locally because people will see, oh, she lives in Las Vegas, I live in Las Vegas, maybe we know someone that's the same. Um, so a great way that you can um, follow locally is if you guys just go, and there's Eliza, <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> Jamie's daughter. Um, if you guys go to, the search you can actually search places so it'll be the last little bar i'm trying to make sure you get let me turn this light off in the back hold on one second and yes i'm huge so too pregnant for this okay so if you guys go to I keep trying to put my brightness up whatever okay so if you go to Instagram. Okay. Do the search bar. And then the places is the last one. There you go. The places is the last one. People will check in to places all the time, you know, whether it's Cowabunga Bay, like that's, I, I wish my water would break right now. Um, I personally always only search places that I think I would check in if I was not in a business. Does that make sense? So like a normal average mom is not going to be like checking into this place, checking into that place. But what they will check into is like Calabunga Bay. It is checking into like play places. Um, if you're not a mom, you know, checking into like UNLV, like, oh my gosh, I'm starting college, whatever. So that's a great way to grow locally um, and to grow your followers. I feel like faster because they're going to connect with you somehow. You're not just going to be someone random on Instagram adding them. You're actually going to be someone um, that like has something in common with them already. Now, if you are just starting Instagram, I do suggest going private um, for a little bit, but you do not have to. I was always public, but some people that I know grew faster than me, it was being private. Okay. So you kind of just have to decide because that's usually the biggest question. Should I go public? Should I go private? You kind of just have to try like each one out for like a month. You can't try it out for three days. You have to give it some time. Um, like Janae, for example, Janae has more followers than me <laughs> and she has been in the business years less than me. She's on private. I'm on public. So, um, I do suggest go private for a little bit. Okay. Now, um, something that you need to be doing constantly, and I talk about it all the time, but I think some of you guys are missing it is following. You need to be following people all the freaking time. Okay. Now here's one thing you can only follow about 50 an hour, but if you are a new Instagram, do not do more than 20 an hour because I looked it up. And that is when they flag you and they say, Hey, this Instagram is way too new. They're following way too many, way too fast. And that's when they will block you. Okay. They put the hold on you. So, and I, tr I didn't look the messaging up, but I think that's the same with messaging. So if you don't have an Instagram right now, don't go and follow 5,000 people. When you first create your Instagram, do 20, you know, you pick up your phone, you don't even realize you pick up your phone. You pick up your phone, go follow 20 people. Um, you know, you go to the bathroom, follow 20 people. I have a lot of bathroom references. Um, follow 20 people. You know, like you just put your kids to bed, follow 20 people. You're about to make dinner, follow 20 people. You know, so get that routine going. I am doing that all the time, but I have enough followers and I have enough 
of a established Instagram that I can do the 50 an hour. Okay. Um, and I have never gotten blocked for messaging like the power 30 messaging, but I think max I do maybe 50. I get like 50 out during that power 30. Um, and so, you know, I've never really like done a hundred, 200 an hour because you will get blocked. Okay. Now that's going to be a way that you're going to start to grow your followers. But if you do want to go public, hashtags are great. Hashtags is a great thing. If you're public, if you are not public, don't even bother with hashtags because they will not work. People cannot search a hashtag on a private, um, Instagram. Okay. Now, um, the do's with hashtags and the don'ts with hashtags do not hashtag anything about it works. Um, <laughs> it's funny cause I got from my one girl, she was hashtagging keto coffee, skinny coffee, all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, that's great, but here's your basket of eggs and you just gave it all up. There's no curiosity. They already know what you're using, how you're using it, what you're selling, you know, like, and then you just search that hash. No one's going to search. It works keto coffee. Like people don't search that, you know, um, the do's with hashtags, you guys are things that you would actually search. So I don't search, I don't hashtag like, uh, what is, uh, what is a thing that people would think someone would look up? Like I don't hashtag like power couple or things like that. Like, because as a normal human being, I would never look that up. Right. So what am I going to actually look up? I'm going to look up like cute baby outfits, maternity photos, family matching outfits, family, family photos, um, you know, newborn stage, uh, first day of school, like things that people are actually going to search for, for a real reason, or like best makeup or, um, balayage hair, whatever, whatever it is, that's going to be something real that you would ever look up. Does that make sense? Like if you're not going to look it up, why would anyone else actually look it up? So you're kind of just filling the space with hashtags, wasting your time. If it's not actually something someone's going to ever look up. Um, now a way to gain more interaction. If you're public again, it doesn't matter if you're private, if you're public, you check into places. So it's a great way to find other people that are public but you need to check into places also if you're public um, because Instagram will give you more followers, give you more interaction, give you, give you more views on everything if you use more of their features. So if you check in, if, you know, if they come out with a, a like, what is it? Like on stories, they come out with a new thing, you know, like hands free or this or that. The second you start using it, your interaction goes up. That's why, um, like using Instagram TV right now, they are, they are putting those people at the forefront because they're using their new feature. Like that's what it is. Um, like, do you think that Mark and Cindy would ever highlight anybody that wasn't sharing about their products? No. So that's what Instagram is doing. It's a business. Um, <clears throat> I am like literally sweating to death. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to jump around because I just randomly like made these notes, but they're all going to apply and you will learn them all. And they're very easy. Okay. Um, so all of these things, you guys, if you can get good at them, will grow your followers, the way things look, the way things are worded, the way everything that will all grow your followers, but you also have to be adding those people. So um, first of all, do not have like it works distributor in your bio. Um, you know, I've repeated myself on that 10 times, but I think, you know, even a new person, you're like, so excited. You're like, it works distributor. Blah, blah, blah. You, you get so excited, but it's not that we are hiding anything. If you go to my stories, like you're like, obviously those are, you know, it works products. Obviously she sells something, whatever. Like I don't, I'm not hiding the fact that I'm an Itworks distributor. I just want them to see me first because you have, it used to be like five seconds. People don't even give you five seconds. This is social media. You have one second. You have one second to get their attention. And if you do not get it, you are a scroll. <laughs> they are scrolling through. So you have one second. If you follow them, and they go to your page and they instantly see, oh my gosh, she's selling something. Instantly, 
they're probably not going to follow you back because they haven't found the value that you can actually give them. So I want people to see me first. Okay. Now, um, going based upon that, your bio should have things about you. So like if you love dogs, like dog mom, uh, you know, beach lover, I don't know, whatever your life is, write down a few things that are important to you or that about you and put that in your bio. Okay. Um, if your bio is empty, then again, they're going to look at it and say they have nothing of value of me because people know that we're in businesses. People know that people are bloggers. You guys, bloggers are all selling something. They are, they all make a percentage. So why the heck do they have so many followers? Because they're still giving a value to people. People still want to follow them. So it's not that people don't want to buy. They just don't want to be like super sold to. Um, so make sure that your bio looks good towards you. Um, now this is super important. Okay. Have you guys ever scrolled past a post that was this long and it didn't, it wasn't broken up with any spaces, with anything who reads that? Nobody reads that. Usually nobody reads that. Maybe we read each other's cause we know there's going to be some value to each other, but no normal person is going to sit there and read that. Um, unless it's broken up. So how do you actually break it up? And this is, this is sounds kind of funny, but you can put it in your notes to practice a few times. Once it's posted, if it's posted wrong, you can't fix it. Okay. So here's the deal. You have got to have, let me just show you. Let me bring one up. Okay. So this is just a, can you guys see that? Am I still on spotlight view? I wanted to see you guys, so I took myself off, but I think you guys can still see that. Okay, so let's just say this is your post. You're like, oh my gosh, you take the same one you posted on Facebook, but guess what? It's gonna all become one big blur on Instagram if you do not make sure that there is no characters after this space. That's what it is, so here's the deal. If I click this right here, and there is a space there, it's going to blur it all together. If there is anything there that's not, let me see. So all I do is I make sure that there's no spaces after my last character. Sorry, got rid of the heart. So right after that heart, I make sure there's no spaces at all. Now, if you mess it up, because it will happen sometimes, it happens to me sometimes, you can put a period or a dash or whatever in this second line and it will break it up for you, but it looks way better if it's just done right the first time, right? Like, yeah, you can fix it, but it just looks way better if you're done, if it's done right. So that's something super simple um, because if it's a run on sentence, people are usually not going to read it. Um, and that brings me to your first liner. So Instagram, especially I think Facebook, like you can see more all at once, but Instagram, you can't Instagram. They give you that one line shown and people have to click to view more. So if you do not gain their attention first with your photo, second with your first line, they will not click read more. They won't. And that doesn't have to be something difficult. It can be, you know, a quote, it can be one line. Like sometimes I'll say things sarcastically, you know, like you could be like, I hate my kids. And then the whole post is actually like, you know, just kidding. Sometimes I feel like that as a mom, but really I'm so excited to be a stay at home mom, <laughs> you know, like it doesn't matter what makes them click view more or read more. It just matters that they do. Um, so, you know, I'll put quotes, things like that. Like I used to think quotes were kind of cheesy, but I'm like, Everybody loves a good, a good little bit of inspiration, don't they? So that first line is going to be what gets their attention after the photo, after the photo, if the photo ain't good, they scroll in. Okay. Um, now let's see here. All right. Okay. So let's talk about photos. Um, so you guys, things need to be like smooth on your Instagram. 
they do. If all of your photos are just selfies, it's no one's going to follow you back. It's overwhelming. It looks all the same. Um, right now, what they say is most popular is actually not selfies. <laughs> they say that people taking pictures of you or pictures taking, you know, taken of you or um, not indirect photos, candid, candid photos. Those are the types of things that are actually going to get people's attention, you know, like because people are on Instagram, Facebook, things like that, because they're looking at fashion, they're looking at hair, they're looking at all this random stuff. And I will post a selfie here and there because I'm like, y'all need to see my face. Um, but I do it sporadically to where it still is broken up. So, you know, I'll have like one selfie here and then like every eight or 10 photos, I'll throw one selfie in. Um, but that's a huge, huge thing is that if all your photos are just selfies or just your daughter's face, that's it. Period. End of story. It look, you get bored. Social media is entertainment. You get bored. They're not going to look any further into it. That's why I'm like every single Sunday we take a family photo because I know we're getting ready. I know we're not going to be wearing the same thing as last week and I know I can post it. <laughs> so like, you know, I, I have that routine and I think people even know I have that routine. They know every single Sunday I'm going to have a family photo in front of church or in front of my door, period, end of story. I didn't have one last week so I was just feeling really fat and ugly, but um, pretty much every single week I do. And so that's something that people are, they're going to get used to and they're going to look forward to it. Um, now photos. Okay, you guys. Now this doesn't have to be difficult. This does not have to be difficult because I know some people are like, well, I don't have time. So either you're a stay at home mom and you can make time, get yourself ready, go freaking make your five-year-old take some pictures of you or go set up. You guys don't even know how many like concoctions I've ever made to make my phone stand at the perfect level. <laughs> and, and I have a timer on and I take that picture of myself. Okay. Or maybe you're a working person, which means that you get up and you get ready every single day, which means that you can take at least one picture every single day. Okay. So there's just no reason why you can't take pictures. Now, um, if you are like, yeah, but I'm a doctor or whatever, or I'm a nurse or I'm this or I'm that. So I'm always in scrubs. Okay. So take a Saturday or even, you know, take a Friday night, date night, change your outfit 10 times. You know, if you guys have ever looked at bloggers, they actually use the same day's photos many, many, many times. They're just in different spots. So I will have Aaron do that sometimes. Like if I'm ready, I'm like, okay, take one of me by the door, take one of me in the backyard, you know, because then I can post one today as a business post. And then, you know, in a couple weeks, I can also post that same day's photos, but in a different spot. So if you actually go look at bloggers, they do that a lot. Um, because you know, not everybody has time for that, <laughs> even when that's their business and how many good outfits or how many, you know, good hair days do we have? It's limited. So we have to, you know, make that, make that schedule. Now, um, as far as photos, you guys, like just a couple tips, like I personally have a uh, Lightroom preset, okay? That's what's in, that's what's hot. If it goes out, I'll stop. <laughs> you know, like I, I roll with whatever is, is in and I learn it. And it was super annoying at first because the one I, the preset that I bought, it made me super orange. So I had to mess with the app and things like that. But I, but I figured it out. So what a preset is, you guys, is you can just go to Etsy. You can spend $5 find your favorite preset. It applies a, the same filter to each of your photos. You have to start from now. It won't go back on your photos. You have to just start from now. You can mess with the app, mess with the colors a little bit and save it as a new preset. Maybe because if you have red hair and it brings out too much red, then you might have to turn that down, whatever it is, but it applies the same filter. And that gives the illusion that everything looks 
smooth and everything flows together. Because have you guys ever been to someone's Instagram where it's like dark light, dark light? You're like, oh, like it just hurts your eyes. It doesn't look good. But I have seen people with a beautiful filter and you actually look at their photos and they're actually not that great of photos. Like their outfit is actually not that cute, but they got like 300 likes on it because their Instagram as a whole looks good. Um, now I will say with presets, you guys like don't wash yourself out. Some people I've seen like get presets and I'm like, honestly, when you didn't have a preset, your pictures look better because now all your pictures look gray and washed out. And I'm like, we're, you look dead. Like you're, you don't even look human. And I'm not saying that you have to have a colorful preset, but I am saying like, try a couple out, find what works for you, find what attracts you to yours. Um, and remember too, like personally, I feel like people, people want happiness <laughs> and bright colors are happy, you know? Um, but the, the grays and stuff are really in right now, but like, you don't want to look gray, you know? So everybody's different skin tones are going to mess with, you know, with things differently. Um, and that brings me to highlights. And I know you guys, this is so much information, but it, it doesn't matter. It's all good. So highlights, you guys, um, it, as far as I'm going to tell this girl, get on training, stop texting me. Caitlin, if you're on here, stop texting me. You guys distract me because I'm using my phone. Okay. So, um, here's the deal. Like I used to just edit my photos also. Um, but they never looked like they do now. Just never. Did you guys know that professional photographers use that same Lightroom app? So that's how you're going to use it. And on the team page, or if you're not on, you know, the team page, if you're on Jocelyn's team, like you guys can just Google how to apply my preset. Um, it's not fun figuring it out, but once you figure it out, it's, it's easy. Um, okay. So, uh, what's it called? Um, highlights. Okay. So highlights are really easy. They're just those little circles on the top of the thing. Um, don't with highlights, you guys. Do not put a highlight for every single product. No, that don't do that. It just says, Hey, here's my salesy page. Okay. Don't do a highlight for every single product. Um, and I, I would say make the color or the front of your highlight match the color scheme of your Instagram, you know? So let's just say you're a guy, whatever, black and white is your thing. Make your highlights white or black. Don't do like orange. Like, I don't know. It might look weird. So make everything kind of flow. So highlights are super simple. I made them because they just got popular and it kind of just, it adds something to where people can see more about your life. Also, like for me, I have a travel one. Um, I have a family one and I do have like an opportunity one. I don't know what I call it. I think I call it like my story or something like that. Um, but it's really simple. All you do is you can get a background from Pinterest or even from Google, like type in like a marble background or something like that. You can get that photo, you add it to your Instagram story. And then once you add it to your Instagram story, you just click the little button on the bottom where it says highlight. I'll just show you guys. Okay. So right there, you just click highlight. And then it just lets you add the highlight, that picture to whatever highlight you want. Now, right here it says new. So if you're brand new to Instagram, you would just create a new one and then call it whatever you want. And then when you go back to your actual page, you can go on there and you can edit it. Come on. What is this? All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold it down and then edit highlight, and then you can change the cover of it. So you would have to apply the to your highlight the photos plus the cover of whatever you want it to look like, okay? Um, now, let's see here. Okay, and I will read those chats afterwards. Otherwise, I'll never get through anything. Okay, this is huge, you guys. Um, don't, do not post multiple times a day on Instagram. We've gone through this. I know some people that say it still works for them. 
Um, but you will gain more interaction, more likes, more comments. You will show up on the search page more often. You will get more story views by just posting one time a day on Instagram. That's it. It's just, that's just what it is. I don't know why. Maybe it'll change later, but that's just what it is. I used to think it was bogus. And then my likes doubled. My interaction doubled when I started doing that. So that's the first thing. Um, the next thing is, is posting in the evenings will give you way more interaction. So I usually do not post my business post before 4 p.m. That's just what it is. Um, evenings are better for your market. If I ever post something like in the mornings, usually, unless it's like a really amazing photo, like really amazing, I will get half of the interaction. That's it. So yeah, yeah, I only post once a day. That's why I'm saying you guys like this business can be so freaking easy. You need one one post a day on Instagram. That's it. Um and it should be after 4 p.m. I know sometimes we get excited. We're like, I have my post set for the day. I'm going to post it before. Blah, blah, blah. Just wait. Just wait. Because guess what? What are most people doing before 4 o'clock? They're at work. And if they're not at work, they're picking their kids up. Um, you know, if I post at 2, 2 p.m., guess where everybody is? They're all in the car picking their kids up from school. Ain't nobody scrolling. And if they are, they're going to crash. You know, like that's just not an ideal time. But guess what? Everybody is on social media after, after their kids go to bed, when they get home from work, when, you know, their college classes are out, whatever it is. So you're going to gain that interaction better after 4 PM and with one post a day, that's all you need. Um, now if you look at mine, almost every single one of my posts is a business post. I will throw a personal one in there every once in a while, but almost every single one is an actual business post which is okay because my pictures are going to get liked anyways because I only post good pictures, right? So that is okay. Um, okay, I will answer your questions at the end. Getting distracted, okay. Now, stories is where you gotta blow it up, okay? Stories is not post once a day. <laughs> um, so, as far as my routine with stories, if you guys just put business or product on there, no, people are going to stop watching them. Okay. So you have to mix in that personal and that's how you're going to gain more interaction. Um, so like interactive posts that we would put on Facebook, I just put it on Instagram. You know, if I'm like, what's the best makeup? And then you put like the question there. Um, so that's going to be something that you guys have to mix it in. Um, and videos. Videos will get you further than pictures for Instagram. You know, so for example, like if you are at the donut shop or something, like take a video of all the donuts instead of a picture. People will watch that video longer than they will look at that picture. Okay, so it's just really simple things, but videos is what people love. Um, now, you don't have to have a business personal and product every single day, but you do need to have a product or a business story up every single day with your personal period. End of story. Some of you guys, I, you know, you make a great business story. It's got a few slides. It's awesome. And then you don't do one for a week. And I'm like, you just lost their attention every single day. You should have something on your stories about the business or the product, just like on your Facebook. Okay. Um, so that's going to be something that people's eyes are on there more. I maybe get 200 likes on my pictures, but guess how many views I get on my stories? Like a thousand. Okay. The, the numbers are there. Like Facebook is putting it or Instagram is putting the numbers out there. They are showing my stories to way more people. Um, but that's why you have to have like the interactive stuff also. Um, Mikkel is really good at that. You know, like she'll put questions there. Like this doesn't have to be something hard, you know, like let's just say you were talking to a girlfriend or you were talking to a friend about football or you were, um, you know, talking to a friend about makeup or whatever, like throw that question up on Instagram. 
stories. Like it doesn't have to be hard. It can be very, very, very easy. Um, but that should be full. You guys, that should be full. And something that is going to be a game changer for each of you guys that I know has been a game changer for every single one of my distributors and myself, um, has been using the products. <laughs> okay. So you can go to all these leaders pages and you can steal their Instagram stories about the product all day long. Number one, don't post it if it's blurry. Okay. I'm serious. Did, did you guys hear it? For the love of everything, don't post it if it's blurry. Just don't even bother. It looks like garbage. It does. Like it, sometimes people will, sometimes people will post like, um, you know, things just to post. If you're posting stories just to post and if it is blurry, just don't even bother. It looks like crap. It does. Okay. Now the next thing is, is if you do take other people's stories and it's not blurry, okay, that's fine. We share, make it freaking fit the dang picture. This is my biggest pet peeve. When I see you guys take each other's stories and then you have the big black box on the bottom and, or, or it's like cut off at the top. Like, I'm like, do you really think that that's going to attract somebody? I'm serious. You guys, like it just looks, I will call you out. <laughs> I, last night I went to all, cause I, I unfollow all of my team's stories because otherwise you guys would blow me up. But last night I went to everybody's of y'all's that I unfollowed and I was like, all right, you don't have anything about the business in your story. Okay. You don't have this. This is cut off. Like after you post something, go look at it. I never get out of my stories without going back and looking at how it looks. Cause like, what's the point if it's got the freaking top, like thing on like, Oh, it's like $99 and it's like halfway cut off. It just looks like garbage. It just does. Just don't even bother. Um, now making now, okay. I'll go back to using the products yourself. So I want to use this as an example because I know for me, I'm like, okay, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But when I actually like hear it down, broken down, it's going to be like a game changer. So here's the deal. If you follow, let's just say not even a blogger, if you just follow some random person on Instagram and they were like, oh my gosh, guys, um, here, let's just say, okay. Um, let me use like this hat as an example, my husband's hat from the leadership retreat last year. So it was like his favorite hat. That was cool. Anyways. So let's just say somebody posts a picture from the website of this hat and they're like, this is a super cool hat. You guys should go and get it. Who's going to go and get it. Ain't nobody going to go, go and get it. Like no one is going to get it because you said, go get it. But if I was like, Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm obsessed with this hat. Like it's so cute. Like you will love it. If it's so well, blah, blah, blah. Look at me, blah, 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 whatever. People are going to be like, Oh my gosh, that hat looks really cute. Like I should buy it, blah, blah, blah. Then people are going to be like, where's it from? Or can you send me the website? Or they're going to click the link, whatever it is. This is the difference between the successful people in it works and the unsuccessful people in it works. Actually, not even in it works in any business on any social media platform, any bloggers, that is the cold, hard difference. If you are just filling your stories with just stories and just results, like that's great. That's great that you're going to get, you know, results out there. And I post results too all the time because people are not going to have my same body type, my same goals, anything like that. But when I'm making my collagen at night, they're seeing that I'm using the product. When I am sharing my, you know, me doing the celery challenge, I sign multiple customers from that just because I drank the celery live. That's it. You know how many customers I signed when I posted about celery coming out? Zero. Zero. I, I, then I drank it in front of people. <laughs> That's all I did. I drank it in front of them and I signed multiple customers. It doesn't have to be that hard, but people want to be influenced, not sold to. And so it can be that simple, but the faster that you guys can 
learn how to share yourself is the faster you're going to grow your business. Um, and I will say like, again, like again, videos are where it's at. Okay. Whether it's live on Facebook, if I ever go live on Facebook, I just save it to my phone. I post it to my Instagram TV because Instagram TV is popping right now. If my kids are playing, I videotape them and I throw up, throw it up on Instagram stories. So, um, just so you guys know, the more, I'm not saying loaded up with 80 things a day, but I've said this before. I will load it up randomly throughout the day because then it puts me at the front of the line. Okay. So you want to always be at the front of the line. So if you're like, Oh, I got my business, my product and my personal all set for the day, yada, yada, whatever. Guess what? They're all going to be right there. Someone's going to view them all in the morning or the people who are actually on social media in the evenings, they're going to see all these people who just loaded it up recently. So I'll load a couple things in the morning, couple things in the afternoon, couple things in the evening. So that always keeps me at the forefront. Like, are my kids always super entertaining? No, but if I put a video up, someone's going to watch it and they're going to put me at the front of that line. Um, and so that's going to be huge. You guys just use videos as much as you can and use yourself sharing the products as much as you can. If you are scared to be on camera, like, you know, you're just going to have to get over it first of all. But if you take a minute to get over it, that's okay. You can still videotape your hands making your keto coffee or whatever. Like <laughs> you can do it. You can figure it out. I promise. Um, but like you guys, you can't expect to live in a comfort zone and become a millionaire in this business. Like you can't, I remember when Instagram stories came out, I was like, I just barely figured out how to gain like followers. <laughs> I was like, people were like, oh my gosh, this app to make stories. And I was like, I don't want to make a story. Like, this is hard. They were like the over app. And I was like, can't freaking figure this out. I'm like, can someone just make my story for me and send it to me? But guess what? I figured it out. Okay. And that is the only way that you can stay successful in this business. Because here's the deal. You can go diamond, but you are not going to go double unless you get out of some sort of comfort zone that you're in. Because social media is ever changing, but man, is it easy. Um, geez, I feel like my kids are always like killing each other during training up there, but Aaron's technically there. Um, okay. Let's see here now. Um, okay. So we kind of already talked about this, but pick a theme and stay consistent. So that kind of goes along with your photos, but that also kind of goes along with your, like who you are as a person. So for example, I would not post probably a picture of, gosh, I'm trying to think of something like that has nothing to do with my family or my friends or whatever. So like, I'm probably not going to post a picture of like this computer and be like, oh my gosh, you guys, my husband just bought this brand new computer. It's super awesome. Like people are going to be like, what? Like, it's going to look like this, this sore eye on my Instagram. So my theme, I guess, is not only my filter, but it's, it's my family. Like that's just what it is. Almost every single one of my pictures, it's either me or me and my family. Before I was pregnant, it was me in workout clothes or my family. <laughs> um, you know, so it's gonna, it's just gonna ever change you guys, but you have to kind of figure out like what your thing is. And I'm like, all right, if it's going to be me in workout clothes, I'm gonna go get myself some cute workout clothes, switch it up here and there, switch it up in this picture, switch it up there because that's just attractive to the eye. Like people, especially to women, like they want to see the fashion, they want to see the clothes, they want to see the hair. And I'm not saying it all has to be done up and done perfectly. Um, but it has to be like towards you. So if, you know, for me, I'm like, I like taking pictures and, you know, getting cute and shopping and whatever. So that's what most of my pictures were <laughs> before I got pregnant. <laughs> so it's funny because like, then it kind of changed and you can see like, uh, six or eight months ago, there was more pictures of me. Now there's more pictures of my kids and there's going to start to be more pictures of me again. So you kind of just have to like find your theme and find your groove, um, and make sure it looks good. And, uh, the app that you can check if it looks good before you post it is called Unum. I don't know if that's how you say it. 
Unum. Mikkel's like, fix it. It's just U-N-U-M. You can actually place the picture in the grids before you post it. Because here's the deal. If you post a picture and then you delete it, Facebook already logs that as your one post a day. So you're going to lose interaction by posting it and then unposting it or deleting it, whatever. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay. I love this because this was super awesome because how many of you guys have felt like ever, you know, in your business, whether you're new or not new, you're like, number one, I don't know enough people or number two, there's already too many people doing it. Or number three, there's already people at the top. I can never get there. You guys can be honest, put like a number one in the chat. I feel like everybody's saying that now. So I didn't want to say it, but I'll just go, go based upon it. Okay. So, Oh, only like four of you. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So I love this because it said in June of 2018, which was just last year, right? Just last year, basically one year ago, Instagram reached 1 billion monthly active users. 1 billion. Do you guys even know how many millions that is? It's a lot of millions. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> um, that is a lot of millions. That's a lot of millions. And that is up from literally just one, basically one year before, less than one year before of 800 million. Okay. The people are there. <laughs> I promise you, the people are there. You just have to attract them. This is attraction marketing. This is social media. I promise you, like, I'm not saying that, um, you know, normal businesses are dead, but I am saying any sales business that's not on Instagram is, is going to die. Like they could have a store, but if they don't use Instagram to market their store, they will die. They will die out. It's just what it is. I posted a million times, Charlotte Ruse, um, you know, what's that charming Charlie's they're all out of business. They're all bankrupt. They're all gone. But did you, did you guys ever see anything about their Instagrams? Did you ever see any, anything about their ads or anything like that through social media? I didn't. <laughs> Maybe if they would have, because you know what? You know what they should have done? They could have fixed their business. They could have paid a blogger to freaking post one of their cute, charming Charlie necklaces. And guess what? They would have sold the shiz out of it, <laughs> right? That's just where we are. So you can work a nine to five forever. Or you can just learn social media. It's not that hard. It'll be hard. It will be. It'll be annoying for a second. But like when you actually break it down, like it's not brain surgery. Like you can figure it out. You can learn. It's easier than riding a bike. You don't even have to physically get hurt. Um, okay. So I think those were pretty much all the notes I had. Let me just really quick before I have Jessica share some of her tips. I know I just went over everything. So I hope she's. <laughs> she's probably like, uh, now messaging. Like I said, if you message a hundred people a day and you've never met or yeah, like a hundred people an hour, a hundred people a day, and you never message a hundred people a day, you will get blocked. Okay. Lead up to it. Um, some of you guys are super ambitious and I love it. And then you message me and you're like, what does this mean? I'm like, it means you're a little too ambitious, a little too fast. <laughs> That's basically what it means. So, um, that's why, you know, do the power thirties. 30 minutes of messaging is truthfully all you need. Um, as far as Instagram goes, you guys, the people that I suggest messaging first are the likes on your pictures and the views on your stories because they're already watching you. It's not as random. Like people will be like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. I was actually thinking about that. And I'm like, yeah, because you viewed my story, <laughs> you know, like, so me offering the business to them isn't as random, I guess you could say. Um, but I do suggest like making it somewhat personal towards you. You know, I have the messages that I send out, always use their name. If you guys didn't know, if you use the wrong name, you can actually unsend an Instagram message. Now you just hold your thumb on it. It will say unsend, take it back, use their name always. It's super important. Also, if the other person deletes the message, 
maybe on purpose, maybe by accident, it will delete on your end also. Um, so if you guys have potentials, I immediately get them off of Instagram immediately because people change their usernames, people, you know, thing, things just happen. Things just happen. So if I have somebody interested, I'll immediately say like, okay, text me or I actually, I usually say text me and give them my number. Um, or I'll say like, what's your number? I'm going to text you because a phone number is probably not going to get changed, but an Instagram, Facebook name can totally do it. Um, so let me see here. Yeah. So even if you, if you guys, uh, I don't know, see that actually is, is tells you how people how fast people are. People will be like, she said, somebody's like, oh, what story? That is how little time you have to get their attention. They will go like this. Like literally, they will just go, they'll just scroll. And there has to be something there to stop them. Um, so that's why like the interaction is crazy. Oh, that's one last thing, okay? Um, interaction is everything on Instagram. It's everything. If you're not gaining, is, is that what you're going to talk about, Jessica? Okay, then I'll shut up. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I don't want to talk about interaction anyways. <laughs> I was like, there's one thing she hasn't talked about yet. <laughs> Literally one. I'm going to talk about that. And then I was like, no. <laughs> so I feel like I use interaction a lot, though. Like, I feel like that's how I sign most of my people is I just interact a lot. Like, I interact a lot on stories because then you're already in their inbox. Like, and if someone messages you, the first thing you're going to do is go look at them. You're gonna be like, who is this random person messaging me? You're going to go check out their page. You're going to probably read a couple of posts. So I feel like everything happens a lot faster when you start like interacting on stories. So that's worked really, really well for me. Um, have a dream team list. Cause obviously if you're adding a hundred people a day, you can't interact with a hundred people a day. So have a dream team list and interact with them first. Like I have like a good list of people that will absolutely sign at some point when they're ready because I've been their friend this whole time. So when they're ready, of course they're going to come to me. Um, I didn't just message them about business or product or trying to sell them something. Like I comment about their kids, how cute they are, ask them where they get their dress. Like I just try to be their friend, honestly. Um, and that's worked really well for me. I'm going to try to think of a couple of things you have said. Oh, so for, I, I hate to go against what Christy said, she's the queen, but I feel like for every market, it's different what time you post. So I have tried that because I've heard you say that so many times after 4 p.m. I don't get crap after 4 p.m. I don't know why. And I retried it the other day. For some reason, morning works best for me. So I think for most people, she's right. I think for most people, nighttime is honestly. The people need to try different things. Like that's just what I've been told and what I heard in mine doubled. So that's what I teach. But yeah, like if that works for you, like don't change it. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. No, but I, I tried it out just cause I wanted to see, you know, and, and I get way more interaction in the morning, but it's gotta be early. And I think it's just because people, when they wake up, it's like the new newspaper, you know, like, you yeah, like maybe you have more like stay at home moms yeah. on your page than exactly. I do kind of thing. Exactly. And I, we're working people. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, and exactly. And I think that's what it is because I try to add people that are like me, like people that I would actually be friends with people that are going to have something in common with me and I'm a stay at home mom. So I try to follow a lot of stay at home moms, new moms, just moms in general. And I feel like I've been following way more new moms lately. And I feel like that's gold because if you get, if you get them, especially around like six to 12 weeks, I would say they're going to for sure have weight to lose at least a little bit. And a lot of them don't know it's an option to work from home and stay home with their baby. A lot of them don't want to leave their baby, but they just don't even know it's an option. So I feel like it's like a win, win you're going to find potentials of both. Um, and I, I feel like everyone I've signed lately is from new mom hashtags. I try to get super specific with my hashtags because everybody is searching hashtags and you don't want to follow all the same people. You want to find the normies, you know, like the people have a couple hundred followers that don't follow a lot of businesses that just have never really seen much. Like those are the people that I sign pretty quickly. Um, so I try to get super specific, like the weird hashtags and I find so many good people like that. Um, 
What was the other thing I was going to share? I wrote it all down. I was like, not that, not that. <laughs> oh, so for stories, um, having like interactive stories and using polls, I swear everyone I sign is from a story poll. Like I, and the more you add to your network every single day, you'll always have new votes on there. You'll always have new people. Those people sign quickly because you're not cool. I don't cold message anyone, but it's an invitation for you to reach out to them. It's so they're like expecting it and you get way more replies, way more interaction. So I always make sure I have at least a poll on a product story and a poll on a business story. So I can message for both. I, when I message, I go to those first. Uh, when I follow up, I go to my stories archive. I don't know if everybody knows how to go to their stories archive, but if you just go on your page, those three lines, oh, that's hella bright, sorry. Uh, those three lines up there, and then you go to archive, and then all your stories will be there. So I'll go to the poll one, and I will just go look for the votes. And then when I follow up, I'll go to like my last like two or three of them, and I'll make sure I follow up with those people first, because those are the people that wanted more information. Um, I'm trying to think of the things you didn't say. Um, oh, okay, so looking through like big blogger pages, like Christy kind of already went over this, but finding like something, some theme, something that's trending, something that people like and working its way into your post. So I started using letter boards and I feel like no one else has really done that yet. And I think it's why it gets a lot of attention. And it was literally just because I felt like I, everything I liked myself, a lot of it had to do with letter boards. So I was like, why not try it for the business, you know? And oh my gosh, I get at least three times the likes on every letter board post that I do than any other post I do. I get way more messages, even if it has nothing to do with business or product. And I, I do try to make them like I'll do some sarcastic comment with Brooklyn and then I'll talk about like, she drives me crazy, but I wouldn't trade it for the world being home with her all day and making amazing income from home. You know, like I haven't, I haven't had to miss anything. Can't talk. Um, so always like relate it somehow to the business, but I feel like people read my posts too a lot more when they like the picture, just like Christy was saying, but when there's like that extra something to grab them or make them laugh. I feel like if you can make someone laugh, they will be your friend forever. And I know not everybody's funny. Like I get that, but everybody's got a little bit of sarcastic in them, a little bit of wittiness, <laughs> like use it. People love that. They, they just do. Or if, you know, if you're really good at writing posts, do that. If you're really good at making stories, like whatever your strength is, use it. I am sarcastic. So I use it <laughs> and people like it. They love it. I get way more interaction on that. So um, yes. And then <laughs> I'm so hard to find some you know to say. You can um share like actually creating business stories. I think that is something that people think if I don't if I don't make a million dollars, I can't create a business story, which is not true. That's a good idea. Okay, so um I use over and story art the most. I feel like just like Christy said, it takes a second to get used to, but then it's easy after that and you can do everything really quickly. Um, I feel like if you haven't done a lot yet, if you haven't accomplished a lot yet, just putting your goals out there, just sharing why you started, because there's a reason why you started and whatever it is, there's a lot more people out there that have that same reason as you. So sharing and being honest and like vulnerable about why you started, about where you're at right now and where this is going to take you, just putting your goals out there and casting that vision that Chris always talks about, that is so huge for attracting distributors. I feel like every time I put a good business story out, I get at least like five messages just asking like, well, what is this about? Like, you know, what is that? How do you make money from home? Like I always get, you know, questions about it. Um, so do you, well, how do you want me to do that? <laughs> No, no, it's okay. We can just share some of the apps. You guys share okay. some of the apps in the chat that you use to create stories. Now, really quick, a couple little things that I think make a huge difference in your stories. And if they are watched, um, hold on, let's see. I don't know if you guys can actually see me. Um, is if you have a whole paragraph on your story, they're not going to read it. Keep it to like a couple lines max, like max two sentences on each story and it will get read more. It will gain more views. 
people will pay attention to, to it more. Okay. That's the first thing. Make sure that the words are not going to get cut off by your name or by the, you know, options at the bottom. That's one thing. So make sure they're moved up a little bit. But again, people only care about the pictures the most, but then they're going to stop to read the rest. Um, and don't make it too long. If it has seven or eight or 10 slides, you lost them. You lost them. I have created ones where I even don't want to go back and look at my own. I'm like, this is so damn long. Like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, this is the longest story ever. Um, but it's okay if it has more slides, if it's less, less, you know, words, basically. Um, and it doesn't have, and here's the deal. Like, there's a lot of people that make a lot of stories with all the bells and whistles, but I would say every single time I use one of my simpler stories, that's when I sign someone from it. Um, if it has the hearts, the stars, the rainbows, the butterflies, the, the background, the picture, the words, the this, the that, the blah, 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 the cute cursive writing, I can barely read that cute cursive writing. Don't use it. <laughs> like it's, it's, you just have to think like, people are gonna give you one second one second and if you have 5,000 things their eyes they can't they can't focus on that um when I put up like a simple before and after people are like oh my gosh info and I'm like really because I just had this awesome keto coffee five layer story and nobody even replied to it you know like keep it simple I'm not saying the cute ones are not good because I use them too but switch it up like I, I say like switch it up and you'll see. Um, but I will say I actually almost every single time I make a new business story. Yeah. My story is the same. Like I'm not changing my story, but I'm taking different bits, using different photos, maybe taking different background. I sign almost a distributor every single time I make a new story. Now I use the same story a lot. So it's going to take, it'll probably take you 30 minutes to make your first story, maybe an hour. You'll be like, what's my story? I'm brand new, whatever. And you know, then you'll be able to get it down to 15 to 20 minutes. But I use those same business stories all the time. Now I'm not going to use the same one like weekly, but I am going to use the same one like every couple months. Kind of thing. So you don't have to always be making new. Right. Yeah. I switch out my pictures on my stories all the time and just make a new story out of it. It's so quick and easy and it's, yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's much better than just stealing like a blurry one from someone else and using that. I'd much rather use mine with new pictures. Um, and I've noticed that, yeah, those, those simple ones do work. I have signed more distributors from a story I stole from you and it's literally the writing is Instagram writing. It's just cute. Like four slides, like what would 500 to a thousand dollars a month right. you know, be for your family? And then it's, you know, that's what I do. And now this pays for everything. It's like literally one sentence per slide. And I always get info or, you know, those messages from that. Those always. simple, those simple, simple ones. And you guys, so here's a couple examples. So I'm just going to put a couple examples out. Cause I know some of you guys are like, but I haven't, but I haven't, but blah, blah, blah. Here's my excuse. Let me just tell you, there was one point in my life where I was not making any money with it works. <laughs> all at the start but those are the ones where it can be the simple it can be like you know um we like i love my job and then the next, and i'm going to use a different story because not everyone's rags to riches not everyone's struggle to fame whatever but you could say like oh my gosh i love my job but who doesn't you know want to make an extra income to buy their dream car here's a picture of my dream car that's why I started this business when I watched this girl, Jessica, on social media, just like you're watching me now. Would you like to buy your dream car? Like, or would you like to make an extra $1,000 a month? Like, that is so simple. And guess what? I just gave you content for every single goal that's on your dream board. <laughs> I just gave you a post or a story for every single one because people are going to connect with things differently. So that's why I shared Jamie's story. Jamie made six figures. She didn't need no money. But then I also share the one who couldn't even pay, you know, for groceries. But then I also share, um, and, and I'm not necessarily saying I'm sharing their story. I'm making a story out of what people's goals could be because of their lifestyle. Because when you're not in a lifestyle, you don't always know that people are in that. 
Does that make sense? Like I didn't know that, you know, people, let's say I started this business, like literally right when we got married, but I didn't know that people were having $600 car payments, making $1,200 a month and they have a thousand dollar mortgage. Like where's the money difference, you know? So I'll make a post about that or I'll make a story about that. Um, and that's going to be something that's going to be certain to Ashley, or I'm going to talk about being a stay at home mom. That's going to be certain to Jessica, or I'm going to talk about making a great six figure income and being a college graduate, but still having, um, you know, college bills, whatever. But you guys have to just put the time in to make the stories because gosh, I would say at this point in my business, I would say 70% of the people that I sign are from Instagram because it, you can just get so many more eyes on you quicker once you build it up. Um, and I love Jessica's tips about actually like creating a relationship with them because, um, on Facebook, I feel like I can create a relationship with them a little bit faster. And those are the people that stay. How many of you guys have had someone sign up and totally ghost you? All of us, every single person. And if you haven't, you will. Okay. Those people I probably never created a relationship with. I'm not saying that's my fault. Maybe they messaged me. They said, Hey, Christy, I want to sign up. So I signed them up. But if I didn't cr try to create that relationship right away, they will easier be out just as easy as they came in. Um, which a little tip for that is get your newbies on a FaceTime within a couple days. Just that was random, but just saying. <laughs> um, okay. So Jessica, do you have any more tips? Um, just a couple things. So I've noticed too, that like, if I do a bunch of long posts, the likes go way down. So I try to do short, short, long, short. I try to only do the longs every once in a while. If it's short, people will for sure read it. And like you said, that first line is everything. If I have a funny line as the first line, I'm going to get twice as many likes, like automatically. Um, I think with going private, I've always been private. I'm at like 8,000 or right around 8,000 followers now. And I feel like I get followers so much faster on private. Um, the only time I ever go public is if we're doing a giveaway, which giveaways on Instagram are life. Like I feel like the last two weeks of the month or the last week of the month doing a giveaway can bring in so much because people are so much more willing to do whatever you ask. So if you, they have to do a host of post to get an entry, they're going to do the host of post. You know what I mean? Like even if they don't want to, they're going to do it. So I feel like I get way more if I do like a giveaway, you know, at least once a month. So I try to do a giveaway. It could be like just a little sample pack, like a mommy makeover pack, anything. People just like getting free stuff. Um, one thing that I heard from MF CEO that always stuck out to me was uh, knowledge, entertain, or inspire. If it doesn't teach them something, if it doesn't entertain, make them feel something, make them laugh, or inspire them to be great, then it, it won't stick in their head at all. Uh, I think that's about really just that interaction, following people that you have something in common with that you would actually be friends with. Because like we were just saying, like there's so much more likely to sign and stick around and be your runner, you know, if you're actually friends with them. Um, and I think that's about it. And just so you guys know, I randomly added Jessica on Instagram. She did not have a lot of followers. So I love that you said that. Like I, I like to add the average Joe. I am not adding bloggers. Like some people will target. They're like, she's already got 10,000 followers. And I'm like, which means that she probably has people already in her inbox. I want the person with two to 500 followers. I want the average person that I can teach how to do this business properly. Not the person who thinks they know everything because a lot of the times those people care what other people think way more. Cause they're like, my followers, they're going to unfollow me. And I'm like, they are doing nothing for you and you are doing nothing for them. Like, <laughs> um, so remember that and make sure you're not following other businesses and letting other businesses follow you. Okay. I, if someone from another company, because I am public, um, I can't like make people not follow me, but actually I can now. So if you guys didn't know, Instagram is awesome. Um, they're ever changing. So because I am public, if a business, not like Chick-fil-A, but like if like Beachbody, Biatch, <laughs> if Beach Bay body girl follows me, I don't want her following my followers. I don't want her in my, in, I don't want her in my space. I got my space. I got my circle. 
and here it is. Now, if she follows me, I can actually, and I don't, I don't like to just have this big block list because there's not actually a real reason. I don't know. Maybe she wants to join and works, but long story short, you can block them and then immediately unblock them and it will just make them unfollow you. So that is awesome because then you're not just blocking people for no reason, but if they were just following you because they were doing this, you know, if they were just like going down, going down, going down, going down, then they're not going to go to re follow you anyways. Yeah. <laughs> See, Barry had to, she had to message me. She's like, Hey, listen, I got a couple girls that keep on the team. They keep trying to follow you and you keep like blocking them and then unblocking them, but they can't follow you. And I'm like, well, because they, they, I can tell that they're in a business. I didn't know they're on the team. <laughs> so, so I do do that. Um, but yeah, so, like I, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I just, someone just asked about host to post and I feel like a lot of people message me because they know I just do Instagram and ask me, how do you do host to post on Instagram? And I take advantage of stories. I have like one for, you know, for product and one for DT and they're super simple. You know, like the LC is just a very clean, like simple results picture. Like, you know, who's looking to, who loves coffee and is looking to lose weight just super with a poll. And I always tell them like, you can put a poll over my poll and then they just screenshot me the results. It's super easy. Um, yeah, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's, that's perfect. Cause I know a lot of people don't do host to post on Instagram cause they're like, how do I do this? Um, so just so you guys know, this all only works if you do one thing consistent, if you are inconsistent, people will inconsistently join your business. <laughs> buy your product. This must be consistent. I don't care if you're on vacation. Good. Take some bomb pictures, use them for stories. Like it takes two seconds to do a lot of these tasks. Consistency is key. This business does not work without consistency. This, um, Instagram does not work without consistency. You will never grow your followers if you follow one day and then wait a few more days to follow again. You must find the consistency in yourself. You must find the discipline to be consistent. Period. End of story. If you are inconsistent, just don't even bother doing it. I'm serious. Like it's so pointless. I'll see people blow up their stories at the end of the month because they want to promote blah, 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 blah. And then come the first of the month, I'm like, Hey girl, where are you at? And they're like, Oh, well I this, or I got busy. And I'm like, peace. Like it's not even worth it to be one week on one week off one week on one week off. Like it's just not, it's not because the people following you, they're going to say, should I join the person who is consistent or should I join the person who's inconsistent? Who's going to help me be more successful? I don't know. I'd probably pick the person who's consistent. Right. Um, and so you guys like, please, for the love of everything, be consistent. You have so many tools on this team to be consistent. You just do. You guys have the power 30. I mean, Jessica just does the power hour every single morning. That's it. That means in an hour and a half, you can actually get all the tasks done that you need in the day. The rest of it is deciding your goals and mindset. An hour and a half. Who does not have an hour and a half? Don't be lying if you don't. And I'm not a morning person at all, okay? <laughs> like at all. So I was actually really surprised. surprised. I was like 6 a.m. It was so hard, but you know what? The having everything done before your day even starts is the best feeling in the world. It really is. And it makes you want to get up again. Like I'm excited now to get up and do it. I'm like, I'm going to have everything done by 7 a.m. Go me. <laughs> like it's awesome. like yeah. that is a phenomenal. You guys like imagine if you had all of your tasks, like the actual tasks in this business done by 7 a.m. And some of you guys in might be on Eastern time. So it might be by 9am who cares, whatever it is. And I know that time doesn't work for all of you guys to be on live. Um, but she posts the tasks in the pink picture in the comments, you can do them at whatever time your 6am is or your 9pm is whatever. But like you have all of the tools. There is no reason you shouldn't be successful. Besides that, it's just being disciplined. Like 
oh my gosh, when you said 6 a.m., I was like, damn, girl. But it's the same thing. It was the same thing for my 8.30 p.m. I had to ask my husband, I was like, are you okay Like with putting the gifts to bed every single night? I'm going to do the 8.30 p.m., you know, power 30s. And it took me a few days to commit to it because I was like, every single night when instead I want to be sitting on the couch just like working on my phone instead by myself, like I'm going to be jumping on this and sending out those messages. Like, you know, and I have people come to me all the time. I don't always need to send out messages, but I do it because I made that commitment for you guys and to you guys. Um, but Jessica, is there anything you want to share before we finish up? I think that's it. Someone just asked what the tasks are, but like you said, they're in the <laughs> pink box at the top of the page. <laughs> yeah. So in the team page, so Jocelyn has some team in here. Um, so, so that's why they might, some of them might be asking, but you guys, it's just the simple post message, ad, interact, follow up. Those are just the, the tasks. Make your own list of tasks, like message 50 people, a uh, business story, product post, whatever it is for you. Um, you know, I know she said like she, you shared your drink in the cleanse or whatever. Oh my gosh, that blew up. Like I had seriously so many people message me from that. Really? And it was literally just like four slides, like just being completely myself, like just drinking the cleanse. And I had so many people reach out to me from that. That is awesome. So basically you guys, she just went on Instagram um, stories and she just did her cleanse. <laughs> That's it. But again, she was on video and she was using the product herself. Oh my gosh. And if you do the cleanse, you can do an update each day, like day one, day two, final results. So it keeps their interest, you know, for every single drink you take. Nope. Um, okay. So thank you guys so much for jumping on. I know today was a little bit less inspiration, a little bit more actual information, but I think that everybody needed it really bad. Um, but remember like you have to be disciplined. You have to know what you want to get yourself up at 6am in the morning to work your business. Um, and it is worth it because the time's going to go by anyways. And what the heck is an hour and a half of your day? Like it's just anyways. So I love you all. And I will see you tonight, hopefully at the power 30. If not, do it after. I know you guys are on different time zones. I'm not asking for your screenshots anymore. This is your business. You are a grown woman. You're a grown man. Like you have to decide it on your own. Like nobody, nobody knocked on my door and said, Christy, did you post today? You know, like nobody did that to me. I didn't even have that personal upline in the first place, but you can go ahead and post your screenshots in the comments for your own accountability if that is what you need to do for yourself to create that discipline because I know some people do need that. Um, so I know some, some girls are on their teams. They are challenging each other to share their screenshots with each other to stay disciplined, which, which is great. Um, okay, so I will see you guys all later and happy Monday. Bye.